Hey, this is Bill at Copper State Forge with take two of our second day of egg frying video. So today we are going to, well, today we've been spending a lot of time cleaning up the shop, doing a lot of work, and I'm feeling extra lazy. And usually I like my eggs over easy, but today I'm not even feeling like flipping the eggs. So we're going to do basted eggs, which in this case means once we start cooking the eggs, we're going to add a little bit of water, clap a lid on top, and... Uh, let the steam do the work. I'm lighting the right burner, first time today even. So we're, we're, we're learning every, every time we do this. Good job, Bill. Yes, and the, the mystery voice behind the camera is Tristan. He's filming today. So we're gonna take care of this. We're preheating this pan. It's probably already close to being preheated, I would imagine. How long do you typically preheat for? Well, a couple of minutes, till it's hot. Okay, you got that so, on what, medium? Yeah, well, this thing, it's hard to tell with this stove, but yeah, I'd say medium, medium, okay. medium high. Going to use a little so, olive oil today? I'm using a little avocado oil, same avocado oil I used yesterday. Good correction. And I'm using a little butter again, that I always do. Yeah, that's warm. Hear that sizzle? You like your butter, don't you? Yeah, well... You know, once the, once the water's cooked off of it, there's not as much as you think there is. So I think we're ready to put our eggs in. We're going to let them cook up for a second. Then I'm going to tip the pan this way. I'm going to add the water up here. Hopefully it won't get too much splatter going on. I'm going to go back to another paper towel. I have to get a little egg on my hand every time I do this. And today, the eggs are just not having any problem at all. And you'll notice this pan here, it's, it's pretty silvery colored on bottom. The color does not determine if it's non-stick or not. The seasoning is actually fairly clear. The coloring that you see Especially on things like a cast iron, is the pour is filling up with some carbon and you season it over the top. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit of water here, put a lid on there. We want to, don't want the egg to get too done before we get that part going. I might add a little too much water. Happens sometimes, but it's all right. That's a pretty cool lid. That's, Tell that's us about one of the our lid. new lids. We just kind of came up with these recently. We we haven't had lids for our pans for quite a while, so we uh, Tristan actually made this lid. Mm -hmm figured out how to put it together and designed it. So now, beyond the boredom of watching eggs fry, we get to watch eggs fry. They have to imagine eggs frying under the lid. <laughs> so any second now, we'll see what we get when we take this lid off. Hopefully, they'll be lightly steamed on top. Um, like I said, these are called basted eggs, although we aren't actually basting them. I'm too lazy even for that today, so we're just letting the steam do it. And we'll wait. I don't know. Did you look at the time on there and see what time we put the water in? I bet you they're close to done. Probably. Let's see what they got. Oh, yep, oh, they're done. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm, call, I'm calling them. So there we go. One. Okay, we'll use your spatula on those bad boys. I don't need to use my spatula. There it is right there. Clean pan. I'm going to set this out, out, out. They're hot. All right. And I guess I did get the butter a little toasty. You can see by those edges here. Here's cleanup. And today, I'll tell you, after we're done filming, this is going to cook some more eggs because there's two of us here. I'm starving. And, and there's, going to be a, <laughs> there's going to be a fight if that's all the eggs we're going to have. So. Today, we are the classic Tabasco. Bit of that. Uh oh, making a mess. It's Halloween. We're gonna. It's Halloween. Yeah. We're going extra spicy. Thanks for joining us, guys. Day two. Day two. Egg frying, basted over. Oh, by the way, in case anybody wants to know if these are still kind of over easy. Runny yolks. There we go. Beautiful. Ready to eat. Good job, Pops. All right.
Thanks for joining us, guys. You don't need one of those Teflon or nonstick pans in your kitchen. You need a carbon steel. Ditch that one. Go to our website, copperstateforge.com, and you can see all of our handmade forged skillets that we've made just for you. Thanks. Over and out.